Hello, this is Kelly from Road Pursuit, and we're having another stop in Crop where we just kind of play around and uh, make a few things. So I'm doing stem, I'm playing with uh, stencils and inks today. So uh, I've got a few projects in mind, and I wanted to show you what I've been working on. So. I made this little label with these uh, bullet journal stencils. I got uh, some kind of a set I got off uh, Amazon, I think. So, but it's under bullet journal. So, and it was like 12 of these little deals and they're, they're quite cute. I have a bunch of them. Anyway, so I made this label. So I'll probably just end up doing a little Tear, tear and distress label. Uh, get my ink. I'll show you what I've got here. And then, you know, we just put it on something. So that's one thing that I have uh, done. So I wanted to show you, I'm excited about these. So basically it's taking a stamp and um, using your black marker to either outline or create little doodles to add a little, little emphasis. So this is what the stamp looked like originally. Um, it, it, this is a slightly darker than what it came out here but it's actually better if it comes out light. So uh, then you just kind of have that color peeking through. Uh, so this is, uh, I really have that upside down for you. I have no idea. Um, so this is one that I did and then this one. So it's using that um, doodle Zentangle tangles kind of artwork. And then this bird stamp, this is what it looked like originally. And then I just totally outlined it even some of the inter internal uh, markings and from a distance, it looks super cute, totally changes the effect and uh, just makes it really fun. So again, I'll just end up tear tearing out that around the edges and then distressing it. So the leaf, uh, I think it probably would have looked a little bit more distinct if I hadn't used the two colors. So I might try that now just to show. I mean, it works really well when the there isn't a lot of detail and there's a lot of dark, like uh, just flat space, basically. Although this one wasn't like that and I was able to, you know, kind of emphasize the, the details and stuff. A little ink on it. I'm gonna just get that. Okay, so let me try this green one again, and this time I'm just going to use the one color. Kind of rub that in. Good. There we go. And then, and then I take my micro marker. So this is 03. So it's pretty tiny, uh, tiny lines, which works well for this. You just kind of go along and outline the edge. And then you can kind of see all of the little veins and I'm going to, I'm going to um, emphasize the veins also. You know, you don't have to be too particular about getting every vein.
just the main ones and just enough to make it feel kind of balanced and then at the tips I did some dots dots down here and there you go so you know it just adds another little element and layer to it so then again I would just tear this out with rough edge and distress and then plop it on something so those were really fun this one uh I outlined it but I didn't see a lot of the stamp pro just didn't work well for it and it's just you know a matter of experimenting and giving it a try so all right so let's see i've got i've got this stencil here so i'm thinking let's see what color do i want this i'm thinking just brown i might want to use my straw i don't know here we go i think this ink will work fine okay Ooh, you know what's on there all right, so, yep, I'm using this die cut as a stencil. And I think this is a B, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I'm just assuming that it is. Today it's a B. And then I had, uh, I could do these also, where I just do, I kind of wanted to do a honeycomb over the top, but let's just do black. Gosh, do I even have a black dauber? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to make one. I'm sure I had one. This is a very rough. Ooh, this is pretty dry. Don't do that on me. Okay, we're coming out. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that's kind of fun. Yeah, that turned out neat. The little... So it's kind of like a overlay with the black. That had a really neat pattern to it. These little tiny stencils are cute. Well, this one's really cute. This isn't too bad. I don't know. What else? I mean, that makes it really easy. Uh, to make, you know, something kind of original, for lack of a better word. I uh, wonder if I can use this. I'm going to try this. I have a little, little paper here. What color do I want to use? I don't want to use the straw again, I don't think. Maybe I'll use this light green. It's kind of a fun little green. Of course, then I would need an ink. All right, we'll figure this out. Okay, so we'll put this on here. We'll ink there. Looks like the right color. Hopefully that works. All right, now we're gonna, oh, stay still. Well, that's very light. For this, I mean, I I really like the light color. Works well. Okay, so that is sort of a rough shape, which is good. It's very good. And then we could do this again. 
and I could pick a different color that would go with it. Maybe this, oh, let's get crazy. Let's do, let's do this. See what happens. A little contrast. Okay. And then we have that. Yeah, I really like that stencil. Gives it a really nice effect. And then we can take this. We're just going to use this darker green, I guess, because why not? That's what I'm going for. And then place it over here. So then we have this nice little little label. And I suppose we could tear it or cut it. And I should leave it alone until it dries because now I'm smearing it. It just adds to the effect, you know. <laughs> sort of rough rough effect right right okay <laughs> all right so I'll do our lid I think I could do that in some fun oh my dog's decided my voice sounds different today and it's just me talking you don't have to bark Tell Josie, tell, tell the others. Thank you. Okay. Bella. <laughs> it's just me. They're like, who's talking? It's bedtime. Why aren't you in bed? I know I'm doing this really late this time. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. But, uh, so I've got that one. So that could be a fun little label deal. What else, what else should I do? That was fun. I, I really liked how that looked. I wish I had a different blue, maybe a blue and a green to do that same kind of, same kind of deal. Of course, then I need a blue ink pad, an ink dealy whopper. That's how you say that. You say dealy whopper. So this bottom layer, I believe this is, what is it? It's a, is it an ink? But it says inks. So it's definitely dyes the paper. So that is gonna allow me to use, um, this is kind of a lighter tan color and I'm gonna use a stencil over it. So that's sort of my idea is that if I use this, uh, color. Oh, I can take my fingers get really inky when I have to take those off. Um, because this is an oxide, which means it, it's sort of opaque over the top. And I'm thinking it's going to work pretty well over the top and, and kind of just dye it a little bit. So let's, oh, wow. That didn't do anything that I thought it was going to do. What happened? All right, I'm just gonna. I have no idea what just happened there. We're gonna try that again. That was like a science experience gone, experiment gone wrong. <laughs> well, I guess that just proves that maybe we did this in the opposite uh, order. So let's try, let's try that again with the this on the bottom and the blue over the top try that okay so we've got this gosh that is very juicy use this one in a while and it is juicy. Okay, so that's our little stencil. That works fine. Uh, and then we're gonna take 
this little pattern guy with the blue. Let's see what happens. Nothing good, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> we shall see what happens. The stencil looks like a cool color anyway. Oh. Hope you can see that. I feel like it's doing weird things, like it's like a chemical reaction or something. Okay. Where is my maybe like a little da -da dabber? Da -da dabber. Well, it still came through. A little bit different effect than I was hoping for, but technically still work. Okay, so I wonder if I can do, this is, this is not how you ink, I know, but I feel like I just wrecked this ink pad. It's just like had a weird reaction with all that and has no idea what's going on. Like mixing that oxide in it just kind of made it lose its mind. Oh, that looks decent. Where's my little lid? I like the color. Oh, for that frame. I should do more of those. All right. Let's see what happens if I come back. All right. That looks good. So now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to actually cut it along those edges and I think you're really going to like it. I think you're going to be surprised at how much you like it. So I do really like that piece. Um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this one that way too. And, and there's that one. And then this one, you get the point on that one. So that's good. Well, that kind of turned out a little different than we thought it was going to. Um, all right, let's try something else. I've got, oh, the, there's my light blue. Oh boy, this is drying out. My, my cap might not, not have been um, very good. I wonder if I can spritz this. Spritz it up and make it come back alive. Well, that's disappointing. That was one of my, my favorite colors. Although it's funny how it looks a little more green than blue, if you ask me. I don't, anyway. I probably should have done this different, but whatever. All right, um, okay, now, still got a little ink on it. I'm just gonna dab it. That looks very mixed media. <laughs> I'll just call it that. Okay, I do have a plan. I have a plan, don't worry. All right, it, the plan is that we're going to do this. Okay. And then, then we're gonna take our spritzer, which I lost already. Okay, and then we just, I don't wanna do it over my desk, but okay, so just a little spritz. And then we press. Oh, 
hold it there and then we lift. And in a minute, it should kind of start to show that pattern. That may not do it right away, but that's okay. That is okay. So as it dries, it starts to show. And I can do another one. Let's do, because I have another stencil I wanted to use to demonstrate that. Man, that is thick. I don't know if I like this dauber. It's not quite what I, the finish I wanted. I want it to be a little smoother. And I think this regular sponge would probably give me a, a better effect. So I'm just going to do this. We are really just playing today. Okay, I'm going to try this one. So... Just gonna fix that. Then we're gonna press it down. off there and you can see it's subtle but it definitely came through so I really like that that I mean that makes a really nice background uh, effect so it's got a lot of elements coming out of it all of a sudden as it dries that looks really cool and unfortunately I only have a couple of these colors so not not too many of those I can do that with. I must be missing this ink. Oh no. Got an ink without a lid. It's lost. It's lost. On the desk. That's bad. I'm going to put this away. I wonder if I dropped it on the floor. It's probably on the floor. I found it. It was on the floor. Oh. Okay. I really didn't want to leave that open. Nobody wanted that. Nobody, nobody. Oh my gosh. I got some tea. It's lovely. It's iced tea. It's so good. It's like red raspberry tea. Can I take a big batch of it? Oh. It's, it's called like... Red, white, and you. Oh man, that looks super cool. I love it. I wonder if I could do the big Florida Lee. The scroll work is what makes it look really neat. So, all right, we're gonna try it again. And this time we're gonna use this ink pad. Cause that's way better. It's blending. If you ask me, you might not be, but I'm sharing anyway. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just kind of smooth that out a little bit. Okay. And I thought I had another one of these. Where'd it go? Oh. Yes, this one. This one's kind of lifts up and stuff. It's not, I used it for something I got all crinkly. Crinkle business. Or I could try this one again. I really like this one. And I just want it to work. <laughs> I'll do the scroll again. That worked pretty good. Where's my spritzer? All right. 
Let me get this back to back to normal. Oh, dab. We're dabbing instead of yanking. Okay. Uh, water. Water spritzing. Okay, we're spritzing on the back. Try not to spritz over stuff that shouldn't be spritzed. Okay, looks like I got water on all the parts. And we press it down, get our little thing. Dryer ink. And then we just let it come to life, which is what it does. That's fun. See now, look how how cool that starts to look, just from drying a few minutes. Anyway, same same process. That's fun. Okay, I like that. What else do I have here? I've got. I wanted to do like an arrow. But I wanted to put like a flower in the arrow. I don't think I have a flower. Got this little little bit of something. Um flower. What color should I make a flower? Oh my, that was my ice maker. That seemed excessively loud for an ice maker. All right, that's how I wanted that. So that worked out. And then I want like an arrow through it. And I think I'll just use the black or this brown micro. I don't feel like I don't know. Okay. We'll use the black. We'll be like black and pink. The arrow is cool. Okay. It's kind of fun. It would be better if I just used like a flower in the middle of it. And I can't decide if I want to, oop, drop something. That would be my cap. Uh, if I want to color in that arrow, if I do, I'm not going to color it in with I got colored in with this. Well, that was supposed to be light, but it just took the black. That stinks. Yeah, I just took, I just made it like gray, basically. I didn't use the color. Just blended the black from the edges. It's awkward. not the worst. It's pretty good actually. And maybe I'll just outline this deal. So they have the old Lost uh, series that came out a very long time ago. And I didn't watch it when it came out, so I'm watching it now, which feels a little weird. But uh, I don't know if I would go so far to say as I'm, I guess I'm enjoying it. It's just, I kind of ran out of things to watch. And 
I do like Survivor, any kind of Survivor apocalypse type shows. So there's that. I do like the arrow. I think a little different kind of a flower would look really good in there. Let me look for a tiny flower in the middle. And let's do another one. Let's get crazy. I know I have some tiny flowers in here. I've got... I don't really want that. Uh, that one, I've got this one without a flower on it. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm not crazy about that flower, but it's not terrible. Oh, there's one little tiny one in here that I'm thinking about. That's probably, there it is. Whew. Let's try this one. This is very tiny and it needs a lot of ink. Look at how cute that is. Let me try this thing. This green doesn't seem like the right thing for a flower to be. I don't know why I just think of green and arrows though. That makes no sense. Oh look, it's like a pink and green. <laughs> All right, arrow. Where's my arrow stencil? Can I try it for me? All right, arrow stencil. Actually, I have this one too. This is kind of cool. But we're gonna do the arrow. What should we do? Right here. So now the decision is, should we just use pink? I don't know. I think it's not fine enough. I think I'm going to have to outline it, but that's okay. Yeah, I'll have to outline it in the black. So I just can't quite get the definition on it. I think this will be the last one that I do. I think we're getting up there on time. Okay. Okay, there we go, Lifty Lou. There's that arrow and this arrow. I think these arrows could be really cool, I think. Um, I definitely want to do more of those. But I think that's plenty for today. I think that would be fine. Okay. All right. Well, as always, thanks for coming along and joining me as I made some fun little goodies especially this one and we, I made this mix, mixed media background and these labels for some future deal and this fun little bee guy so he's going to be fun somewhere and then all my birds I'm excited to use the Zentangles um, it's just finding the right uh, stamps to kind of make it worth its while. So, all right. So there you go. I hope you'll give these birds a try. Let's check out this bird close up. It's got a little eyelashes on his and just not too much, just a little bit of something. And uh, all right. Well, as always, thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you later.